Hi guys, Jessie here, also known as that Minnesota Yarn Girl. I thought I would take you guys along with me today while I participate in the Southwest Yarn Quest, which is a scavenger hunt put on by five of the local yarn shops in the southwest of the Twin Cities, in the southwest metro of the Twin Cities. So, let's go have some fun! Hi, this first shop I'm visiting is Twisted Loop. It's located inside the Prior Lake Library, and it's a tiny little shop, but it packs a, a lot of punch. Um, we, the first time, I'll never forget the first time I actually walked by, I was taking my son to the library for something, and it was after hours, so the gates were closed, and I remember sitting outside the yarn, just or outside the shop, drooling at all the yarn. <laughs> all right, so can you tell me about the yarn that we have here? Yeah. Um, so we use Lavender Loon. All the shops have used Lavender Loon, and our inspiration was fall. Um, so when I started knitting with this yarn, it just ended up looking like um, Indian corn, you know, the multicolored corn that uh, you decorate with. So started the, the pattern, stitch pattern fit together with it really well, and I've always wanted to do contrasting heels and toes. So um, Sam from Lavender Loon came up with a great variety for us. All right, and so what was the difference? There's the different heel colors too. Yep, so we have an orange heel color, um, harvest gold, and then a lime green just because you can. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. All right, guys, this scavenger hunt is going to be a blast. There are so much more things than just yarn on here. It the 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 items that you have to do also include just visiting cute little places in all of the towns that the yarn shop is located at. Um, for example, I just was at the Twisted Loop in Prior Lake, and so one of the things that I have to do is go and take a picture of a cow in front of the um, El the El Eloise Bakery, which is a fantastic bakery in Prior Lake. Um, and and I have to take a picture of this beautiful gazebo, as well as um, dipping my toe into a lake and visiting a theater and all kinds of other great fun stuff. So it's going to be a blast. Guys, had to make a quick stop at Costco, got my rebate check last week, and, re and my brain immediately went, yarn money! So got to stop here and cash that in so I've got some money to spend at the next few shops. Hi hey guys, now I'm at Unwind Yarn Shop in Burnsville. This is probably the shop that I frequent the most just because I've taken a lot of classes here, mostly from Lynn. She's great. All right, let's go. All right, so this is your guys' colorway? Yes, yeah, our colorway. That's, and that's, uh, that's the that shawl. Is. Oh, that is gorgeous. And that's one it's, of our favorite shawls that you can use any weight in. It's called Far Away So Close. And that uses three of the colors. Think of fall leaves. Yeah, that's beautiful. I'm just going to get a pan of the shot, too, a little bit. About to check out Needle and Skein in St. Louis Park. Never been here before, so I'm all ex I'm excited to see what they're all about. Let's go! This is the colorway for this so one, much. huh? This is gorgeous. What is this one called? Chilly Nights. Ooh, I love it. Look at all these fun little mini skeins. Hey guys, about to go into Harriet and Alice, which is the, down the end of this adorable alleyway in Edina. 
and I've never been to Harriet and Alice before either, so looking forward to checking out a new one. Alright guys, I'm at my final yarn store, the fifth and final one of the day. Um, it is Northfield Yarn Store and since I have already fallen in love with two new yarn sh shops that I've never been to before, I'm pretty sure I'll probably end up falling in love with this one too because we are so blessed to have great yarn stores here in Minnesota. And joining me this time is my Aunt Dee. She couldn't make it to any of the other yarn stores earlier but she did want to come check this one out with me. So let's go check it out! Um, I hear from you, you get it. Yeah. I thought I thought that was funny without even knowing that that is from a lot of that. Um, but I don't know why they wouldn't be the same. Or there's just like a lot of kind of fun, right? All right, guys. So one of the things I don't know if we, if I clearly explained about the Southwest Yarn Quest was that um, there was a hand dyer from Minnesota that dyed a unique skein of yarn for each of the shops. All of them you can see are kind of have this fall theme to them. So at Twisted Loop they had this Indian corn, and it, they also included this nice little extra skein if you wanted to make the um, the sock the socks that would make a cute little heel for that. Then this one was at, this um, Maple's Lament was at Harriet and Alice, and this one is Birch Lane, which was at Unwind Yarn Shop. This one was Chilly Nights, which was at Needle and Skein, and then this one, this last one, which was Papa Maize, was at um, Northfield Yarn. So as you can see, they are all gorgeously hand-dyed yarns, all from this Lavender Loon Yarn Co. Absolutely stunning and all just a kind of matching colorways for the fall. So now I'm going to show you all the stuff that I got in addition to the Lavender Loon skeins from my Southwest Yarn Quest Adventures. Um, to start with, I got a nice fade set. I bought that at Twisted Loop because it was 50% off and I just loved the colors and thought it would make something really fun. Then at Needle and Skein, I got lots of Shibui. I've got some Staccato, which is the Merino and Silk blend, as well as um, Silk Cloud, which is a kid mohair and silk blend. I think I'll probably put those together to make something fun. Then I got a nice little needle and skein gauge swatch set which is just one big square. I thought that might make things easier and a cute um, project bag. Then at Harriet and Alice I fell in love with this um, blue sky fibers metallico yarn just feels so soft and comfy so had to get that and I got another little project bag, a smaller one this time for socks or something. And then finally at North at Northfield um, Yarns I got this knit kit which just looks nice because it has all kinds of little things in there it comes with that you need for accessories for knitting. So those are all the fun things I got. Hope you enjoyed um, my following along with my adventures today. Thanks!